Hi Cornelius, do we see each other? Nice, nice to, to see, see you again. Yes, you too. So today's topics is quite interesting. Can you introduce the topic, Cornelius? Well, it's a, a topic that's maybe as old as there are people. Is it okay to lie for sex? Yes, when you put it like that, it seems that answer is obvious. It's not okay to lie for anything, especially for sex. But uh, things are not so simple because inherently in our uh, society, it is kind of presumed that it's okay to represent yourself in a completely different light than you actually are just for attracting a partner, right? Agreed. Yeah. So, uh, if you are uh, a lady or a guy, you can uh, 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 buy fancy clothes. If you're a lady, you do the makeup thing. And of course, when you go to first few dates, you don't really disclose everything about yourself. Do you think that's lying? I guess if the difference is between a lie of omission and a lie of commission, uh, I would not call that act of lying. But yeah, you can't hand people a resume. Uh, is it lying to dress differently and put on makeup though? Isn't that more a form of advertising? Like when peacocks have really nice feathers, you're showing off how successful you are, your genes are good, that's why you're so rich and pretty. I mean, does that qualify as a lie? Well, you're right. Uh, attracting potential mates is a form of marketing and advertising, but isn't advertising lying? Right? At its best, no. <laughs> <laughs> Because a lot of people are against advertising. They consider advertising being a form of lying. The things should be presented without any attempt to trick the viewer. And in dating, we obviously don't approach that. Uh, for example, if you have some kind of serious uh, health issue, you're probably not going to tell that to your potential partner for months and months until you are sure that you can disclose it and they are still going to stay with you. Isn't that, I mean, you are never lying intentionally, but it's expected to disclose that kind of information for somebody entering a serious relationship, right? I suppose so. And now you're positing the idea of uh, lying at the intent of entering a serious relationship, which I'd say is much less okay. Um, yeah. Aside from the fact that you'll be building a house on sand, uh, you know, it's just unethical uh, to tell somebody, oh, I'm, you know, a millionaire, and maybe they're counting on that and sell their house, and, yeah. uh, you know, bam, suddenly there they are. Um, yeah. I don't know, is lying, is not telling somebody lying, uh, what's the time limit on that? One date, two dates, three dates? Okay, let's put it quite simply. Let's talk about one night stand. So one night stand. I'm very comfortable with that. Very comfortable with lying for one night stand. Well, I'm comfortable talking about it. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I actively lied, but I'm sure I've done it, and I'm sure somebody watching this can probably tell me a time I did that. So please don't leave it in the comments section. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but I think now it would be better to just not say things. Um, and I don't know if that qualifies as lying. I mean, how much information should I disclose, right? Do I tell people my life story starting from when I was a kid in case there's a trigger for them? Yeah. I think when people enter Why Night Stands, they are not really interesting in knowing real you. What I want is a little bit of excitement that night. And I think if they figure out later that somebody was presenting themselves in a little bit uh, wrong light, like saying some car was there and it was not, or you know it was their apartment and it was just the apartment from a friend, they would just laugh about it. So I think lying in that context is not such a bad thing because you express uh, expect from other person to impress you in some way, right? So you're you, saying people want to be lied to, the fantasy yes, is part of the Yes, actually, I, I think you can find a dozen songs where the lady or a guy are singing, lie to me, lie to me. In a <laughs> sense, I want to be fooled, I want to fall in love, I want to feel the passion, you know, do something to be somebody I want, I desire. 
Zell, I think you should definitely write another song uh, with a bit more of a philosophical bent, uh, but about that topic. Um, yeah. yeah, I think I agree with you. If there's not intended to be anything prolonged, then lying might not be bad. It might even be good because you're giving somebody the full package. Um, you know, it's like renting a sports car. It doesn't have to run great forever. It just has to run great one night. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I think there is a special kind of lying involved in uh, uh, female and male relationships. And that is, it's quite common in most of the cultures that guys should be a dominant uh, force in the first few dates and interactions and ladies should be submissive. And I notice many times that guys who are ordinary, you know, geeks, when they are around ladies, they try to pretend they are something they are not. They start to be louder and uh, they start to tell more stories, be more assertive and prominent. And I also noticed from other side that girls, when they like somebody, some guy in their company, they get all silly and giggly and just trying to be really submissive to the guy they are talking with. Isn't that a form of lying just to, you know, attract the opposite side? No, I wouldn't say that's a form of lying. Modifying your behavior to match your company is a very normal human thing. Otherwise, we'd all be one note... Uh, you know, bits of music and we'd be very boring, wouldn't we? Yes, but you never behave that in such a way. And I noticed that, you know, sometimes in such situations, other friends say, why he or she is behaving like that? You know, they are not like that usually. You know, this is fake. Well, right? that is a good point. Sometimes it's over the top. And again, where's the line, right? Yeah. Um, I would... Uh, I would be comfortable uh, with the idea that we're not uh, really ourselves ever with anyone. Um, in which case, you know, maybe there's that one special person. But aren't we always lying in that situation? Um, is there a, even a true you that you could, you know, show to somebody? And what would that look like? Uh, might be very ugly, uh, yeah. depending on who you are. Uh, in which case, we're maybe duty bound to ourselves to conceal a lot of what goes on inside. But I would definitely draw a bright line with uh, active lying uh, beyond a one-night stand. That's unethical. People do it, do it, but you know, probably it shouldn't be encouraged. Yeah, okay, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Uh, do you think the situation is uh, getting worse or improving with uh, modern uh, lifestyle? I think social media definitely encourages a better eye for marketing. Um, yeah. Although I don't know if this is the most hedonistic period of human culture I've ever read about. Uh, the orgies of Imperial Rome uh, certainly make Berlin look rather uptight. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm not sure about that. I, I really uh, would wish to go back in history and see how people behaved in relationships before. I know that uh, uh, before it was quite common for uh, ladies to lie that uh, they didn't have any sexual experiences uh, before marriage. But I also know that uh, in big cities uh, uh, like New York or Berlin, it's like a shark pool. A shark pool. People will do anything to impress somebody on a date, right? And they don't care because it's such a large city, so many people inside, that you can just, you know, be a total jerk and, you know, still find somebody else who never heard of your jerkness. <laughs> well, that's a form of marketing that you're trying to escape from then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, I'm trying not to lie ever again. I used to do it, and it was bad, so no more lying for me. But you knock yourself out if it helps. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm trying to live a moralistic life now. You don't seem the type. Yeah, I don't see in the time. Thank you, Cornelius. Uh, with that compliment, I think we should end our today discussion. And I invite uh, watchers to vote for the pool above our heads. So until next time, bye. Bye. May I just say, you look great. Oh, thank you. And you're lying. <laughs>